Time for this week's Furry Friend Finder, when we help a four-legged friend find a forever home. And Sandra DeFeo, the Executive Director at the Humane Society, joins us uh, right now with a little bit more on a special guest that we've got joining us here on the couch this morning. Sandra, good to see you. Good to see you. And who do we place. have here? Um, well, this is Hamilton. And he's almost two years old. He'll be two in April. Yeah. And um, we think he's a, oh, he's very relaxed. He really <laughs> likes it here on the, on the carpet. <laughs> and he sees himself. Anyway, so he's like, we think he's like a shepherd hound mix. Yeah. Oh, he sees himself. That's why he's, <laughs> he's like, this is great. He loves dogs. What's he's up, a big champ? dog lover. So he always you. wants to um, meet dogs, meet hi, hi. people, very yeah. playful. And we're looking for someone who has experience, yeah. you know, to raise him and maybe a nice family because he needs to run and play. So and somebody with a little land, too, would help, obviously, right? Because you want to open those doors and let him go. Let him run. Got let some him German have Shepherd fun. in him, as you mentioned, right? Yeah, he loves to play fetch with a ball. Yeah. And, um, but he definitely needs someone with more experience so he stays in good, because he loves training. Yeah. And so he stays in good form. It's like okay, Hamilton, is. you're in good company He knows here, how to worry. sit, go down. <laughs> That's great. And as far as, like, with kids and things like that, uh, yeah. very it's Great, very nice, friendly, very nature. loving. Yeah. yeah, but I'd say older kids, you know, yeah. 12, 13 and up, because we want him to stay a good dog, you yeah. know, a good citizen, and he is. He's wonderful, very yeah. trainable. And what's the process? If somebody's watching right now and they see, and they're like, "Oh, I really, really love this kind of dog," and this is the just the kind of dog we're looking for. What are mm -hmm. the steps that they need to go through? Well, they start with we start with an application, and our application is pretty rigorous. We have to check references and make sure that this is the right match for you and for the dog, and um, um, and uh, so that's the first step, a yeah. completed application. And then we have you meet him, and uh, a lot of times we go to your house. Yeah. We help you set up things so that it'll be a successful adoption. And how is Hamilton with other doggies, in case it's a family that he already does, has a few dogs and he, wants to add? Yeah, dog to, he likes dogs, definitely loves dogs, and uh, that would be another factor. Yeah. The two dogs would have to get along, and if they, it wasn't a good match there, we wouldn't do that adoption. But, you know, he, he, that's part of the process. All the right. two dogs have to meet. <laughs> You've got a Hamilton. Good job. You were a great guest this morning. Lay down, take a load <laughs> off for a second. Uh, and thank you, Sandra. Great to see you as well. We have a furry friend finder update for you. A seven year old Chihuahua Quincy, now named Noah. His new mom, Sonia, felt he should have a new name for his new home. And they have busy, busy days together, as you can see, from long walks to visiting friends. They especially love visiting with Sonia's great grandson and great granddaughter. And at the end of the day, Noah snuggles up with a cozy blanket and has a great night's sleep. So there are some great, great stories to be told out there. Hamilton, we cannot wait to, to show your update here on this broadcast in the next couple of days or couple of weeks. For more information <laughs> on our furry friend finder, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. And we will be right back after we go for a walk and maybe have a treat or two. <laughs>